All right, everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome along back to a brand new video. And here today, we are in the Anagach Woods in Grand Town on Spey. I'm joined by Katie. Yeah, we're here for squirrels. So that is one thing that we're after, but I'm also gonna tell you about five of the rarest animals in Scotland. But let's go and try find squirrels in this beautiful area. <laughs> about and we're looking for these red squirrels this is apparently a red squirrel hot spot and just further down this way is apparently a red squirrel feeder so we're hopeful that we're going to see some today but it's a beautiful pine forest and there might be some other things around here as well like little birds such as tree creepers we may even see a crossbill if we're lucky but i doubt it also this is going to be a great place for woodpeckers they love pine trees so it could be great to see one of them as well now i am sad to tell you that this is the last video from scotland but it's going to be a good one So I've just left Katie back there as I walk on this way trying to find myself a red squirrel. But I'm gonna to talk to you about the first animal on this list. And it's one of the rarest animals in Scotland. And that is gonna be the Scottish wildcat. Now, I feel like I've spoken about the Scottish wildcat so much recently. It's just such a wicked animal though, and I don't mind talking about it so much. As far as like a population's concerned of the Scottish wildcat, it's really hard to sort of determine what are the non-hybridized cats to the hybridized cats. And when I say that, I mean, the Scottish wildcat's biggest problem is it keeps hybridizing with domestic cats. And <laughs> it's not a good thing because it loses its wild lineage and this sort of status as this really cool looking cat. Now, as far as like a population goes in Scotland, there is rumored to be about 30, to 50 which is really really quite a small population and you can only find them in certain places around scotland so we're talking the cairngorms the black isles straffs bay region is quite a good one as well but still if you wanted to come here and try and find a wild scottish wildcat it's going to be quite difficult now there is some positive news for the scottish wildcat in a few places around here in zoos and wildlife parks etc they are breeding some scottish wildcats to re-release back into the wild and interestingly enough the highland wildlife park which is a few miles away from here has actually bred a population enough now that they can be re-released into the wild next year in 2023 now, i think it's a wicked animal the chances of actually seeing one though are slim to none but it's cool to know that they are here and there is something in place for them to help their population in the future. Have you filmed anything cool? Uh, I filmed some tits having a fight. We're with cameraman Kate today, or camera woman Kate, should I say. So if any of the footage is a bit <laughs> naff, <laughs> it's Katie's fault, all right? I can hear a woodpecker. Where is he? He's flying that way. He's that way. Where is he? You can hear him. So we couldn't actually see the woodpecker. It was like right the way up the top of that tree. But funnily enough, there's another one up that way as well, but we just can't see them. It's so high up and they, they just keep themselves hidden, but you can hear the knocking and then they call every so often. So it's really cool to see and hear, but trying to film it is an absolute flipping nightmare. Definitely loads of birds around here though. It's really cool to see. Uh, no red squirrels though, which is a shame. Oh well, let's talk about the next animal on this list. It's gonna be a weird one and it's called the pine hoverfly. Now this is an interesting one because I don't usually talk about stuff like this, but it's, it's a bug, it's an insect. But the pine hoverfly is so, so rare in the UK. So rare in fact, that there's only one or two populations of them here in Scotland, in the Cairngorms, in Abernethy National Park. And the mad thing about it as well, is the pine hoverflies, they haven't been seen in the wild for about a decade. How mad is that? So if you thought it was gonna be hard trying to find a wildcat in Scotland, try your luck at finding a fly that's about that big in Scotland as well, that's only got one or two populations in a giant forest. Now the reason the pine hoverfly is as rare as it is, is a weird one really, because it needs, it needs a big space 
to put its larva. So we're talking a tree stump that has to be more than 40 centimeters across for them to try and breed on it. And the problem with this is there's not that many of them around. So it needs to be a pine tree like this, but it needs to be a dead stump on the ground. And there's, well, there's just, there's not a lot. Now there is some positive news about the pine hoverfly. Again, a few miles away from here is the Highland Wildlife Park. And they've put together a conservation project to try and make a lot more of these insects to then re-release into the wild once again. It seems to be going quite well. And hopefully as they put these things out into the wild, you will be seeing more pine hoverflies flying about. Unfortunately, there's still no sign of red squirrels, which is a, a real disappointment, but we're back at the bird feeders. We can see all of these tits having a little go at it. Now, Scotland also has one of these things, which is called a crested tit. It's a really, really cool looking thing. And it's got like a little crest on top of his head, a little mohawk, it's really cool. There's one dotted in and around here, but we can't try and sell our to film it. We just can't right now. Still a woodpecker knocking. Still can't see the flipping thing. Anyway, let's talk to you about the next animal on this list. And that is going to be a golden pheasant. Yeah, golden pheasants are here in the UK and they're here in Scotland. And it's said that there's about maybe 50 of them, probably not even that. Now I'm pretty sure any UK person watching this video is going to have seen a pheasant in this country, but you probably haven't seen the golden pheasant because if you did, you would absolutely know about it because they look so, so wicked. Now the golden pheasant shouldn't be in this country. It's usually from China or the Asian region, but they come over here because of how they look, because they look so wicked. People want them, they have them, and they either escape from where they are or they get released into the wild. And there's really, really small localized populations of them, especially here in Scotland. Not too far away from where I am right now in Grand Town on Spey, there has been sightings of some golden pheasants knocking about right there. But also as well, on the eastern side of the Cairngorms, there's supposedly another population of them there. There. but again it's very very small and you're certain that if you see one you know what it is because there's nothing else in the UK countryside that walks around looking as stunning as that does it's just wicked isn't it the woodpecker just came and thundered into this tree did you see it mm. <laughs> I've got him filmed now though just he's on the back of this tree but it's really cool he just came just poof, straight into the tree I moved to try and film it and he's flown off that way but now I do have it, so it's really cool looking. And that's gonna move us into the next two animals on this list, and these are two extremely rare ones and very, very interesting. So this one right now is going to be the killer whale. Flipping killer whales, mate, in Scotland, in the UK. Absolutely amazing things, and they're big, they're bold, they're ferocious and they're wicked and they're right here in Scotland. If you had to put a population guess on them, the ones that live around the Scotland coast, there's probably less than 50. Now you've probably all heard about the West Coast community that knocks around around Scotland. The northern parts of Scotland and the western side of Scotland as well is where they are usually seen, especially in the Shetland Isles as well. And they're just such an impressive site. And I wanna give a shout out here to someone that films them quite a lot. They're on this website right here. They're called Finding Fins. You can go and have a look at them filming some killer whales here in the UK. They film them quite a lot. They're really good at what they do. But what else do I need to say about killer whales? We all know what they are. The big giant sea pandas are absolutely amazing to look at, ferocious. They travel around quite a lot. So actually being able to try and see them is quite a difficult thing. But once you've seen one, Mate, you're gonna know about it. What, what's in here? A red squirrel. Where? In case he's eating. He's in the tree? Yeah. So covered by the pine, we can't actually get to film it. I can see him moving, but I can't see him. Oh, he's moving. Oh, he's coming this way. He's right I can't kind of see a squirrel. <laughs> Mission impossible. We've kind of got one, yeah. <laughs> There's one, he's right, it's so hard to film though, but you've got him behind the pine, he looks really cool. Right then, he's there. He's just actually literally gone into the actual feeder himself, just fully got in there. But there we go, we finally got ourselves a red squirrel, properly looking absolutely beautiful. They're just such a stunning animal. I absolutely love them. I wish we had more of them in England, but yeah, wicked. How was that for you? Super cute. You like that?
talk about the last animal on this list and it's going to be the snowy owl. Yes, that's right, the snowy owl, which is not usually supposed to be in this country, but you can find them from time to time. They usually fly in and find themselves in the Shetland Isles, but one has been seen further down south in the Cairngorms. Up on the Cairngorms range, you can go to the top of Cairngorm Mountain and then it turns into this big plateau that heads over to Ben Macdui. And over there, there's been a snowy owl living for quite a few years now. Now this is about as rare as it gets in the UK. There's usually, on average, every year, about five of them. That's it. But in between 1967 and 1975, a pair managed to breed on Shetland for like eight years running. How cool is that? That's absolutely wicked. It's just one of those things, again, if you see it, you'll just be left in awe because they're such beautiful looking birds. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Have you seen any of these animals in Scotland? If you have, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to smash a like on this video. And also, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe as well. Also, check the links in the description down below. Head over to the website, get yourself a hoodie, a sweater, or the new 2023 Animal Anomalies calendar. For now though, I've been Cookie. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.